bow our heads and humble hearts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, we thank you right now, thank Lord, you. for another day's journey. Yeah, yeah. We thank you, Father God, for watching over us last night. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Early this morning, touching us with the thing of love. Yeah, yeah. We thank you now, Father, for this opportunity to worship and praise your name. We thank you for the devotion. All right now, all right now. We thank you for the song service. Yeah. But Lord, don't be done with us. All right, brother. Touch us now, Father God, as we prepare to preach your word. Uh -huh. Realize, God, that I can't do this without you. All right. So I'm asking, Lord, that you allow Harris once again to sit down so that you might stay. Reverend, Reverend. We ask, God, that you have free course and free will. Yes, Lord. And then, Lord, if it's anyone that I missed that don't know you, pray, God, that you touch him right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come running and ask the Lord, what must I do? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Reverend. And then we'll be careful, Father God. Oh, yeah. Yes. To give you all the honor, glory, and all the praise. Oh, In your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Be worthy, Reverend. Worthy, Reverend. And praise God. Oh, yeah. Huh? God, who is the head of our life. Uh-huh. To the deacon and deaconess of Real. the church. Real. 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 To all God's children. Amen. Last but not least, to the, this magnificent choir. Amen. Under the leadership of our dynamic musician. Real. 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 There is a word. Say it now. In the book of Acts. Chapter 9. Well, thank you, Lord. I try not to hold you too long because I know me and got to get home and file up that stove. Take time, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take time. Yes, we got time right here. Take time. But you already got it done, Dr. Jones. You know what I'm saying? It's almost ready. <laughs> well, I got to stand out there for a little while. It's oh, so yeah. almost ready. Let me get you on. It's cold outside. That's all right. It's that you must have shot two arrows in your heart. It's cold outside. I promise you, I'm going to do it. Uh, you can't go in the oven? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let me go and get, get started. <laughs> uh -huh. I want to look at verse number six if you don't mind. Uh -huh. yeah. Take your time, Pastor. Uh -huh. Take your time. Uh -huh. Take your time. Uh -huh. Please, Lord. Uh -huh. The body said, and he trembling and and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Mm -hmm. The Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. You may be seated. Uh, I want to use for a subject, if you don't mind. Jesus can turn your life around. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one, real. Jesus can turn. Mm hmm. Yeah, Jesus can deliver you, deliver you off your road of destruction. Oh, my goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. And some of us need to know that Jesus can turn your life around. Oh, yes, oh yeah. Yes, he can. And that's good news for somebody. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Then again, it might not be good news for somebody here, but it might be somebody that oh, they really? don't watch it. Watch it. Took that real. Took that real. On Facebook or, or, or uh -huh. on YouTube. Yeah, huh? They need to know that Shut God can turn their life around. Amen. Amen. Jesus can turn their life around. Yeah, you 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 can't get out of out of God's reach oh, right. for right. Him to, right. to touch you. Yeah. All right, Jesus, Rebels. Jesus, Jesus can turn your life around. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's hope for everybody. Yes, 
Yeah, hey. even somebody that's low down and dirty. Dirty. All right. All right. I'm talking about that man with the orange hair. All right. There's still All right. some hope. Long as, long as the blood is running warm in your veins. Yes, sir, Reverend. Somebody need to go and tell him that, that God can turn his life around. All right, Reverend. All right, Reverend. Some folks we know right now, uh -huh, I wish Jesus would just touch them. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. And turn their life around. Yes, sir. Talk to him, Reverend. Talk the to him. Old you said they have done everything but die. Oh, talk uh -huh. to him, Reverend. Talk to him, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob folks, stab folks, the shot uh -huh, folks, uh -huh. Uh -huh, the fault folks. Yeah. So I come here to tell you that God can still All right. turn their life around. All right, All right, brother. All right, brother. All right, brother. Yes, sir. You do it. Somebody, somebody need to be here right now. Uh -huh. Pray up, pray up. Afraid of the things that they have done in their life. All right, All right Saying that there is no hope. Yeah. Well, let me tell you that God is able to do all things. Hell no, hell no. But fail. Hell, hell no. So, help us, Rev. Help us. Today, we look at Saul's conversion. Uh -huh. Jesus had to step in and turn Saul around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saul was a bad man. Uh -huh. When they stoned Stephen. Stephen, yes sir. Yeah, yeah. Saul was a witness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 7, verse 58. Yeah. Instead of Saul having a heart of compassion. Uh -huh. After witnessing sin, Stephen stoned the death. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bible saying Acts chapter 8, verse number 3, that Saul began to wreak havoc All right, brother. on the church. Uh -huh. Yes, Saul did not stop. But I come here to tell you that when God gets tired of your mess, All right, man. All right. Bring it on out of that, brother. God, Jesus say, enough is Bring enough. it on out, brother. Bring it on out, brother. Jesus will stop you in your track. Uh -huh. How, 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 how is God going to stop us? Hmm. Well, if you look at the text, yeah. chapter 9, verse 1, the first thing Jesus had to do is, is have Saul to check his character. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 Jesus can't use some of us because uh, we got some messed up character. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasty attitude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dirty disposition. Yeah. Uh -huh. Low down weight. Right, yeah. Did I did I did I did I hit somebody? Come All on, right, now. Come on now. Yeah. Now. Jacked oh, up help personality. Help us, right. help us now. Uh huh. And you can find these same folks. All right now. Holding down position inside church. Hey, church. Hey, hey, now. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Won't allow God to use you. Uh-huh. Because your attitude. Yeah, yeah. So messed up. Amen. Yeah, you got the potential. Mm -hmm. But you got a problem. All right, now. Yes, yes. And Jesus, uh-huh, got to check some of our uh-huh character. All right. It's not until you Take it upon yourself Preach, to check yourself out, uh -huh. to look yourself inside of yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh huh. Look at yourself in the mirror. Uh huh. Uh huh. What 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 you see in the mirror? Uh huh. Is not what folks see at the church. All uh right, -huh. Is not what the folks see on your job. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is not what folks see. You understand in the store. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 Jesus had to have Saul to check his character. All right. But number one, and Saul get breathing out threatening, and Saul against the disciples mm -hmm. of the Lord. First thing, first thing Jesus have us to do is to check our speech. Uh huh. Yeah, first of all, Saul's speech was terrifying. All right. 
if Saul had not done enough damage to the church, the text says he continued to speak threats. Uh -huh. Yes, every once in a while, uh huh, we have to check how we talk to folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah every ounce of energy that Saul had. He possessed, he was using it to do um, damage to the church. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It was his determination to conquer the church and to conquer the Christians. Mm -hmm. But little did he know that Jesus said that upon this rock, yeah. All right. that I will build my church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if hell can't stop the church, I wonder why Saul thought he was big and bad enough to stop God's progress. All right, all right, brother. Truth be told, before we gave our life to Christ, some of us was just like Saul. Didn't want to be around church folks. We didn't want to attend church functions. Uh -huh. And we wasn't our friends with Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not only was Saul's speech was threatening, yeah. he even talked about slaughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Look at the text, breathing out. So in order for it to come out, it must first be in. Yes, whatever come out your mouth, come out your heart. And I'm not saying that Saul actually killed anyone. But in his, this case, Saul was basically saying, uh, let the chips fall where they may. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. People feared for their lives. And when it came to Saul, and that's what led them you understand? To wander out caused them to scatter. Yeah. Because they were trying to get, 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 get away from Paul. Yeah. Uh huh. That's why, that's how it is. And that's how, and that's what happened, uh huh, to the Christian and to the gospel today. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what the devil meant for bad, God meant it for the good. Say that, Ray. Say it Yeah, because it, it caused, uh huh, the gospel to scatter abroad. All right, now. Yes, yes, they were trying to get rid, to get rid and get away from Saul. Saul was talking about killing. Yeah. Saul was threatening them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You understand? A threat goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to hit me. All right. But if you threaten me that you're going to hit me, yeah. I'm going to be prepared. Uh-huh. Yeah. If, 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 if I tell Jones right now, I'm going to walk out to the pool pit and go there and slap him. Mm -hmm. And if he sit right down and wait for me to slap, he deserves <laughs> to get slapped. Say that now. You got to put your hands, Say it. throw that cane or something. Say it, Ray. Say it, Yes, sir. Say that now. He'll be Christian. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Say that. He'll saw talking about threatenings and slaughter. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They was afraid for their life. So they left. But not only did we see the slaughter, but we see that he saw it. So, 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 so went to the high priest. Someone with power and authority. Yeah. But not more than that, that he uh, found the founder of the church had more power and authority yeah. than the high priest. And desire of him left to the masters. Mm -hmm. So, so basically saying here, yeah, they ain't getting away from me. They might try to flee, but give me permission All right. mm -hmm. to go after them. Yeah, yeah. Give me permission, uh huh, uh huh, to seek after them. Yeah. I want you to know right now that the devil seeking permission uh -huh. to go after you. Yeah. The devil seeking permission, mm -hmm. uh huh, to to hinder your life. Yeah. 
I know that for a fact because when Jesus got ready to go on Calvary's cross, All right. he told Peter, he said that the devil desired to have you. Yeah. He said, but I prayed for you. Yeah. yeah, he desired to shift your life from me. All right, man. But I thank God that he prayed for us. Yeah. Yes. So, looking for her permission. And to bring them back to Jerusalem to stand trial. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. How evil can one person be? But that's it, it, how it is. There's folks like that exist today. Yeah. Yeah, they don't like God. They have a problem with God. All right, man. And they try to rub the evil spirit off on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't you don't have to spend all your time yeah. down there at the church house. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to go every Sunday. Yeah. Uh-huh. God know your heart. Yeah, yeah right, but, but but sometime, sometime. Sometimes evil slipping our heart uh -huh. causes us to do some stuff that we ought not to do. Yeah. I don't want God to know my heart at that point in time. Uh -huh. Yeah, God right, knows man. your heart. All right, man. They don't come and they don't try to uh, 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 give God none of their time. Yeah. Look at Saul. Look at Saul. Let me. Go after them. Uh -huh. I don't care if it's a man or a woman. Let me go after them. Uh -huh. And not only go after them, but 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 give me permission yeah. to bind them up. Uh -huh. yeah. Give me permission yeah. to drive them back to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want to be the judge and the jury. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad God spoke to Saul. All right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad God changed Saul's heart and mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we put more attention to doing what God wants us to do uh -huh. than what the devil wants us to do, the church will be a better place Amen. to be. Saul said, Saul said he wanted to stop everyone that found in this way. Now I want you to understand that phrase, this way. Um, it was a phrase used several times, describing Christians when it came to God. Mm -hmm. And Saul said that, that, that I, I want to stop everyone uh -huh, that's praying. I want to stop everyone that's coming out to the synagogue. All right. I want to stop everyone that believed in the Christ. Yeah. The one that hung, bled, and died, but got up there, yeah. they mourn. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, I want to stop them this way. But you got to understand, understand that Jesus is this way. Yeah. That they were trying, that he was trying to stop. Remember in John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way, yes, the That's truth, true. and the life. Right. Yeah. Acts 16 and 17, the way of salvation. Yes, sir. Luke 1 and 79, he said that he is the way of peace. Yeah. Peter 2, 2 and 2, he said, I am the way of truth. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he's saying here, yeah, I want to stop them going that way. Uh -huh. We got some family members yeah. uh -huh. that try to stop us from going that way. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, we got some. They, 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 you done told them, talked to them till you're blue in the face. Yeah. Told them that they need God in their life. Uh -huh. But yet they don't want to give God none of their time. Yeah. Yeah, but they want to stop you from going uh -huh. that way. Uh -huh. well, I'm like the son that said, Mama don't go. All right. If Daddy yeah. don't go, if yeah. well, my sister or my brother don't go, yeah. send me Lord. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh huh. Don't hinder my right pathway to yeah. that. Yes, sir. But not only. Not only, not only mm -hmm. will Jesus check your character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Jesus will change your condition. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jesus had to check um, Saul's character. All right. Uh -huh. He wanted him to see for himself what he was doing. Now he got to change 
his condition. And you ought to thank the Lord for changing your condition. Yeah, yeah. I can remember one Thursday when he changed my condition. Yeah, yeah, he stepped into my heart. Yes, and there are a lot of folks want to say, I found the Lord on this day. You didn't find the Lord. The Lord found you. Yeah. Because some of us would still be doing some of the same things. If God had not reached down and snatched us up. Hey. Yes, sir. And brought us into his marvelous life. Yes, sir. yes. and not only will he change your home, your playground. Uh -huh. God will change your playmates. Uh -huh. Yes, I used to think that you don't have to love the way that you used to love. Or you love now differently because God changed your ways. Yes, yes he changed your conditions. Mm -hmm. Jesus, uh-huh, couldn't take no more of Saul's threats. All right. Yeah, he couldn't take no more of Saul's slaughtering people. Oh, thank you, Lord. My great auntie used to always say, uh-huh, that the Lord would give you a little rope. To hang yourself. All right. Saul is about to hang. First thing Jesus did was, uh huh. He 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 presented himself to Saul. All right. Text says, verse number three. Saul, uh huh. Before you go any farther, uh huh. Scandalizing my name. Uh huh. I got to stop you in your tracks. Number three, and as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. All right. Uh -huh, before he could reach others that followed oh, the way, uh -huh. Jesus got in his way. Uh -huh. Text says, sudden death shined around about him a light yeah. from heaven. He had saw was about to begin his slaughtering spree. The light of the Lord struck Saul down. Uh -huh. Basically what I'm saying is that it's never too late for a person to make a change. Amen. Yeah, God can take a pimp uh -huh. and turn him into a preacher. Uh -huh. He can take a drunk yeah. and make him into a deacon. Yeah. Yeah, he can even take a tramp. And make a teacher's going to school. Uh -huh. That's uh, God hey. can turn our life around. Yeah. Some of the best folks are the ones that have been out there in the street. Uh -huh. That they made a change for God. Yeah. Yes, yes. I believe it's just too many folks in inside the church that think they were born inside the church. Right. Never done nothing wrong. Yeah. Uh huh. Never sinned in their life. Uh huh. But those that have done wrong become a great teacher. Yeah. A great preacher. A great disciple for the Lord. Uh -huh. Yes. Luke recorded that the light appeared a suddenly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number two, the light came from him. Yeah. Bright as the noon they sun. Oh, yes. And number three, the light and the sight struck Saul down to the ground. Uh -huh. Yeah. Before all this, Saul's path was dark. Yeah. But Jesus said that he was light. light. And yes, that sir. he was the light of men. Man, yes, and Jesus had to shine in Saul's dark heart yeah. to show him that he was the light. Yeah. yeah, Jesus, Jesus had to let Saul know that there is another power on the scene. Yes, yes. we need to understand that our dark pathway needed to be lit up by God. God has to shine in a man's heart in order for him or her to be saved. But not only did Jesus present himself uh -huh, as light, he uh, showed the problem to Saul in spiritual logic. Yeah, look at it, Jesus Indictment against Saul. Text says in verse 4b that Jesus got his attention by calling his name. Text says Saul, Saul. 
Yeah, I, I, I got to get your attention. Mm -hmm. Why persecutest thou me? Yeah. Persecution, persecution, that is to treat someone differently. Mm -hmm. Because of their race, gender, or beliefs. All right. So, so. You understand when Jesus wants your attention, he'll call your name twice. Yeah. Remember, he said, Simon, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, Satan desired to have you. Yes, Jesus had to get Saul's attention. Number one, the first thing we need to understand that he called his name twice. Yeah. Number one, he was showing love and compassion. All right. He was showing Saul, understand Saul, you don't have to go down this road. All right. He would let Saul know uh -huh, that I love you yeah. with all my heart. Uh, yeah. But the second thing, he would call his name to let him know you need to stop right there. Yeah. Uh -huh, you, need, uh, you understand, whoa unto you. Yeah, you don't want to go down this path. I don't understand why folks want to fight God all the time. You know you can't beat God. Yes, he was warning him. And I wonder what would be our excuse uh -huh, for persecuting the Lord today. I believe folks still persecute the Lord today. Uh-huh, get mad at the Lord uh -huh, for what's going on in their life. Uh-huh, because somebody died. Mm -hmm. Because your money low. Mm -hmm. Sickness in your life. All right, right. You want to get mad at the Lord. But yeah. let me explain something to you. If you're broke, sick, and you don't have blood wants to die, God is still good. Yeah, yeah. yeah God. Yeah. Still good. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Saul. Verse number five. Who art thou? All right. Lord, he, he, he paused for a second. Uh -huh. he, he said, who art thou? You're just an angel. Or are you Lord? He wasn't sure. Yes, the bright light, the voice from heaven would have one uh -huh, to think that he was a heavenly being. But, 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 but I, I need to know, is it you, Lord? Yeah. Uh -huh, that's talking to me. Fallen down, stricken with fear, stricken with grief. Saul confessed Christ, but yet not believed. That's why he was asking the question, who art thou? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he wasn't sure. There's some folks that, that, that ain't sure today All right. who the Lord is. All right, Come in here, quote scriptures, call yourself praying. All right. Talking to the Lord, but don't have no idea who the Lord is. All right, man, man. Going off what somebody else said. Yeah. Going off somebody else's testimony. All right. But if you really knew who the Lord was, yeah. you wouldn't have to live off grandmama's testimony. All right, man. You wouldn't have to live off what mama told you when you was a little boy yeah. or a little girl. Right. You'll know the Lord yeah. for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Jesus asked him. Verse number five, he said, I am. And I believe that's what God said. Right. Uh-huh, Moses, yeah. go tell Pharaoh, uh -huh. let my people go. Yeah. Who should I tell them sent me? Tell them I am, I am. that sent you. Yeah. I am that I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah he put an adjective, but he put, he put no uh, noun there. Yeah, so other words he was saying, let him know that I am that I am. Yeah. I can be your bread in a starving land. Yeah. He was saying, I am. I can be water in dry place. I am whatever you need me to be. Yeah, Rebel. So is this you, Lord? I am the one that you persecute. Uh -huh. How hard is it for thee to kick against the pricks? Right, Jesus, Jesus revealed himself to Saul. I am the one you fight against. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't ever think that if somebody out there don't like you, it's you. Mm -hmm. Some folks just don't like the Lord. All right. And they can't stand you yeah. because you represent the Lord. Right, yeah. All right, really. Yes, I'm the one that you're fighting against. Yeah. How hard is it for you to kick against these pricks? <laughs> Kick against your conscience. All right. The phrase kick against the pricks is here is pictured uh -huh, as, as someone that got an ox and they take a stick and try to poke it. 
to try to get it to do what it want it to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. I believe God sticking and pricking some of our hearts right now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know you're going down the wrong path. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're doing stuff that you ought not to be yeah. doing. Yeah. And God is pricking at your heart. You wonder why you can't sleep at night. Right. You wonder why you're trying to do what you're doing. It ain't never working out. Yeah. Because God is pricking at your heart. Yeah. God is letting you know that, I, that there is another being on the scene. Yeah. That's trying to get into your life. Here, yeah. here, he, he, he was oh, pricking at, at, at Saul's heart. Why, 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 why persecute thou me? Why, 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 how hard is it to kick against these bricks? Other words, Saul, you trying to stop something that you can't stop. Either you need to get on board or get ran over. But one way or another, my work don't go forward. So Saul, why persecute thou me? He was trying to get Saul to understand and know that it's not, it's not, it's not the people that you, it's me that you got a problem with. Yeah, yeah, I, and that's something I I, I, I I try to tell people, people, you know what I'm saying, want to know why this person is like this or why this person is like that, why why they got a problem. I, I can't answer for you. Go to that person yeah. and ask them. Uh -huh. That's what Jesus was saying to Saul. Stop killing my people. Uh -huh. You got a problem with me, come to me. Right. And me and you handle it one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Saul, why is you persecuting me? Yeah. So... So, so in have an answer. Like many of us, All right. we don't have an answer All right, at the things that we do. Yeah. Jesus didn't want to punish Saul, but yet he set him up for serving him. He didn't want to punish Saul. All right. He didn't have a problem with Saul, but he had to stop Saul in his tracks. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I see potential in him. Somebody need to know that God sees some potential in you. Yeah. All right. You could be the next deacon. We don't know. Mm -hmm. You can teach the Sunday school later. We don't know. Yeah. You can be in the choir. We don't know. God sees potential. Yeah, sure. But until you see the potential, then the potential will never come out. All right. Jesus saw the potential in Saul. Oh, Text says, told him to arise. Jesus have to knock us down in order to get us up. See, see, self got us where we at now. Self, self got me this house. Self got me this car. Self got me this job. Self got me this money. God had to knock us down and let you know self didn't do nothing. Because if it wasn't for me to wake you up in the morning, and if some folk woke up this morning but went cold in their right mind, didn't know left from right. Uh -huh. Some folks can cold in their right mind, but still can't do for themselves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, if, if it had not been for the Lord uh -huh. on your side, Jesus had to knock some of us down. So now, since he knocked them down, now he's ready to get them up. Uh -huh. Yes, he said, here, uh -huh, I want you to go into the city. Uh -huh. And when you get there, I'll show you what you must do. Yeah. Yes, yes, Saul, so you was going there to persecute. But I'm finna prepare you to preach. All right. Yeah, ain't the Lord all right. Yes. Verse number seven, now the men that went with him. Text says that uh, they stood speechless, uh -huh. hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Right. How, how, why, 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 why would they hear a voice but see no man? Because this message wasn't for them, right. but it was for Saul. Yeah. Somebody waiting for their friend to give their life to Christ. Yeah. And they still ain't gave their life to Christ. Yeah. It ain't for you to wait for them. God is talking to you right now. Yeah. God is pricking at your heart right now. Yeah. Trying to urge you to come to Christ. Yeah. But yet you want to sit down and wait for somebody yeah. else. Yeah. They might not never get a life to Christ. Yeah. Some folks love, love, love raising hell. Yeah. Some folks want to die and go to hell. Yeah. But you're going to go there by yourself. Oh yes, sir, yeah. because when God called me, if John didn't want to go, yeah. I'm going to go by myself. Yeah. 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 Say it right now. Say it. We need this, brother. Somebody need to know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That God. Can change your life. Oh, yes, can turn you around. Yeah. Uh huh. 
You don't have to go down the path that you're going. Yeah, all right. You don't have to do the things that you are doing. Good, uh -huh. That God is able to turn your life around. Yeah, yeah. First of all, thank you, Lord. As we close, He will check your character. Yeah. Yes, check your way of living. Uh huh. Check your old theology. Yeah. yeah, some of our theology is all screwed up. All right now, man. Thank God or something. Yeah. God don't owe you anything. Yeah. Yeah. God has done enough for you. Yeah. And he gave you his son. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want that, then what else Thank for you to get him to give you? Thank you? So he had to check our character. Mm -hmm. But not only will he check your character, but he will change your condition. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, God will touch your heart. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And cause you to think differently. Uh -huh. Cause you to step back and look at your life. Right. Uh-huh. And realize that you need a change uh -huh. in your life. Amen. Finally, he will clear your conscience. All right. A lot of us need our conscience clear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can't go forward because we're thinking about the past. Right, listen, listen. Stop beating yourself up. For what you'd have done in the past. The past is in the past. Yeah, it's gone. Yes, sir. Uh, you can't do nothing about it. It's gone. Like Great Auntie used to always say, God give you another day for you to do better than what you did on yesterday. Yeah. So if you raise hell on yesterday, try to change and do better on today. Yeah, yeah. 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 In other words, Jesus will allow you to think about the wrong you've done. Yeah. But motivate you to live better in the future. And I believe that's what made the song to say amazing grace. Oh, yeah. How sweet the sound. Yeah. That say a wretch like me. Uh -huh. He said I once was lost, yeah. but now I'm found. Yeah. I was blind, but now I see. Mm -hmm. And so arose, yes, as a new man right. from the earth. Yeah. And when his eyes were open. He saw no man, but yet they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. Yes, in order for you to give your life to Christ, somebody got to lead you to him. Amen. Yeah, see what, 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 what Saul was looking at wasn't what Christ was seeing. I see that, Rebel. And God had to change I his eyesight. That, uh -huh, now you got to depend on me. I see that, but look at number nine. And he was there for three days. Without sight, neither did he eat nor drink. Saul went on a spiritual fast. Yeah. Saul was trying to get closer to God. Yeah. Text says three long days yeah. that he went without food or something to drink. Right. Yeah, three long days. One for the Father, mm -hmm. one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah, because remember, it was Jesus that said, Man shall not live of bread alone, Amen. but out of every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hey. And I'm so glad that the Lord turned hey. me around. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad that God stopped me on my road yeah. of Damascus. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad that God turned me around from the path of destruction. Y'all yeah. know who I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about Jesus, the one who hung, bled, and died for yeah. my sin. But early that third day morning, got up with all power hey. in heaven and earth in his hand. Hey. The one that changed my life around. Yeah. The one that turned me upside down. Yeah. The one that made me realize that I was going down the wrong way. Yeah. The one that changed your life. Yeah. I don't know what day he changed your life. Yeah. But one Thursday evening, he stepped into my life. Hey. He changed and turned me around. Yeah. And now I don't see the way I used to see. Yeah. I don't talk the way I used to talk. Yeah. I don't love the way I used to love. Yeah, yeah because God has changed me. Yeah. I come here to tell you that Jesus can turn your life around. Yes, he will, Rev. Yes, he will, Rev. What more Jesus got to do uh -huh. in order to show you that he's able. Mm -hmm. If God, if God Stoop down. Move away dirt. Because the Bible says he formed us with dust. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to even gather dust. 
You can't even form and shape dust. But yet God's hand is so powerful that he can hold the earth in his hand. Uh -huh. But yet so delicate enough that he can shape dust. Uh -huh. And breathe in us to uh, in us the breath of life. Uh -huh. If he made and formed us, don't you think he know all about us? Don't you think he can change your life? Stop trying to do it on your own. And seek God's help. That's all we want to say here today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You God is able yes, sir. Yes, he is. to turn yes, he is. your life around. Yes, he is. Stick a pin in it. Yes, he is. Because the Lord showed us something else. Mm -hmm. And we're going to follow it up next week if the Lord allows us to see it. Amen. But God bless you and God keep you as I pray to do. God, house is open. At this time, I water baptism. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, that you come. Yeah.